Elliot, I've got a few questions I'd like to pose to you today about couples therapy. Um, okay. uh, your book, Solution, Focus, Solution Building for Couples, um, in the book you write that there is a different language that one uses for solution building um, versus the language that describes problems. What do you mean by that, Elliot? Well, <clears throat> whenever you ask somebody or uh, kind of invite somebody to talk about the problem, you're gearing the conversation in one specific uh, direction. And with couples, what makes that such a challenge is most of the time when couples come to therapy, they have two different ideas about the origin and solution to a problem. Uh, for example, if I ask any married couple, like what brought you into therapy, um, the answers are usually quite divergent. So one person will say, you know, we're here because I caught my partner having an affair. And the other person will say, well, I had an affair because my partner ignored me and I felt neglected. So we're, we're already on two different paths. Yeah. But if we invite people to talk about a preferred future or talk about uh, a desired outcome, then very quickly we get kind of on the same page and that starts the conversation very differently. So if I ask that same couple, what do you hope to get out of therapy? The, the answers are usually convergent. So they'll say things like, you know, we want to be happy again like we used to and, and we want to be, um, we want to get past this trying time or we, we want to get back to being right for each other in whichever ways would matter to that particular couple. And that's a completely different conversation than a problem descriptive uh, kind of orientated uh, uh, conversation that most clinicians would have other than us.